To show up data channel functionality, we're going to do something simple. Let's allow for the users to set a name for the call and such name will also be sent to the other user. To do so, let's add some more elements to index.js. The first thing we need to add is an h2 to show the call name. So we're going to add an ID of call name. We're going to leave it in blank by now. And we need to set a set of input and button so the user can set the actual imp uh, the actual call name. So we're going to name this as input call name. It is going to be type text. Now we need to add the button. We're going to set the ID to set name. And we're going to put in here the label set name. Okay, that's all we need to do in the index.html. Now we need to get the reference to this element in the JavaScript file. So we're going to the top of the file and we're going to add the correspondent reference. I'm going to speed the video here, but make sure that you also add it to your file. Okay, so we have the reference of our HTML elements. So the next step is to create our data channel. So we're going to add here a reference. We're going to name it data channel. And we need to add some code to some of the already created events. The first one is going to be added on the created event. Sorry, to the ready event. So after we create the offer, let's create our data channel. So we, do, we create a data channel by calling a method of the RTC peer connection. This method is called create data channel. And we're going to pass it a label or a name. For this exercise, we're going to put the same number or the same name as the room. So it's going to be room number. Now we need to set up an, an event. This is going to be the on message. This, so when we get the message through the data channel, this is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to define a really simple anonymous function in here in one line. So this is going to get the h2 reference and it's going to modify the inner text to the event data. Okay. Um, this is on the caller side. In the called side, we're going to do something slightly different because we need to get the data channel that has been created on the first slide. So what we're going to do here is create an event for the RTC peer connection called on data channel. So in here, we're going to receive an event. And what we're going to do is to set the data channel to the received channel which is the one that we have created in this side and we also need to set up the on message event we're just going to simply copy this one and we're going to paste it in here okay and now we just need to set the event for sending the call name so we're going to grab the event that we already defined. We're going to copy it and we're going to make a, slight mo a slightly modification. First of all, the button is not going to be the go room, but it's going to be the set name button. And in here, we're also going to make a validation that the name, it's, a, uh, it's something different than the blank. So, or different from empty. So a, t a type uh, call name. And in here, we just need to do this stuff. We just need to send the name that the user has written through the data channel. And to do that, we need to make to make the reference to the data channel object and call the send method. And in, in here, we just need to set an, an string that will be equal to the input call name value. Uh, 
Now, we are sending the value here to the other user, but we also need to set that name in our uh, own web page. So we're going to get the reference to the H2 and change their in the inner, inner text. So this is equal to the input call name body. Okay, so let's test the functionality. We're going to run the app. Yes. And now we're going to go to the application in first in Firefox. We're also going to enter the application in Google Chrome. We're going to enter the WebRTC training room. Go. Allow the camera. I'm going to lower the volume because uh, I don't want to have feedback. And I'm going to enter to the room from Chrome. So WebRTC training and go. Okay, let's wait a minute. And we have the calls. And there you have it. And that's it. Congratulations. Now you know the basic stuff about WebRTC. Now, before moving to the next chapter, I got a little challenge for you. You've probably noticed that this is a really simple app with nothing on it. It's just a bunch of HTML and JS files. Now that you have the basics of WebRTC, why don't you build your own app but using something like the React, Vue.js, or any of the popular frameworks that the cool kids are using? Also, See if instead of doing something silly as setting the call name, you could add a chat feature using the data channel. When you're done, please send me a three minute video explaining how the application work to my email. And that's it for this lesson. When you're ready, do the exercise, send me the video and move to the next chapter.